Good afternoon. I'm David Gaynor, the Cultural Attaché at the U.S. Embassy here in Prague, and we are delighted to have Professor Brenda Flanagan, who is a novelist but also a professor at Davidson College in North Carolina with us today. And so, Brenda, what brings you back to Prague this year? Well, I come to Prague every year, okay. um, and I'm hoping I can see that next year as well. This year, I'm doing two projects rather than one. My the first project that I've been working on for some years, and I'm finishing up, has to do with Eva Schrankmayerova. Mm -hmm. Eva, as you know, is a surrealist writer and artist, and I became interested in her and her work, and especially her novel, Bradla Cave. Mm -hmm. I'm particularly interested in the writing. Mm -hmm. And she was delighted that someone as different from her as I am, because I'm not a surrealist, and although I am a writer, was interested in her work and um, allowed me to interview her and I became interested in the group, in the Surrealist group, met them and I've been coming for some years interviewing them and I'm finalizing the interviews and the transcription of the tapes. Eva sadly died a few years ago mm -hmm. but it's going to be my pleasure to get this book done very soon for her. My second project, which involves some of your people here at the American Embassy mm -hmm. and I would really thank the American Embassy for uh, giving me access to your facility sure. here. It has to do with interviewing women mm -hmm. who lived under communism. Mm -hmm. I went to the United States in 1967 mm -hmm. and um, from Trinidad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I what I understood of communism, I thought, sometimes was very strange. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I thought it would be so important, given that this is the 20th anniversary since the fall of the wall, to find out from women how life was. How, mm -hmm. for example, did a woman who wanted an abortion, mm -hmm. what happened? Mm -hmm. um, oh, what was the schooling like? What was all we had ever heard in the United States were some of the bad things about communism. I have a feeling that life for people was pretty normal, but I don't know that. And as a researcher, I wanted to find out how was life, what was life like. And um, you might think I'm a little bit biased, David, because I'm interviewing only women, but I, I, I wanted to get the women's stories. Uh, I wanted to understand something about their lives. And so that's what I've been doing. Some of your employees here, Marketa, uh, Helena. And today, what I have found is this uh, wonderful collection of Sami that literature that was produced by one of your own employees who happens to be behind the camera right now. <laughs> so she's doing triple duty. Helena. Um, you know, one of the things that the, the, the young people who were dissidents mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. um, in the 70s and, and early 80s, they would copy books. Mm -hmm. They had no access to a lot of copy sure. material. Sure. So they would use carbons, yeah. maybe 10 page carbons, right, Helena, to, um, to copy very important mm -hmm. books mm -hmm. that were smuggled sometimes into the in, into what was then Czechoslovakia. Right. And Helena was one of those dissidents and mm -hmm. has this uh, range of material. She copied books by Václav Havel, mm -hmm. she copied books by George Orwell, and Wall so I've just, yes, and I'm Kundera, and so she's been sharing some of these with me. Long answer. <laughs> <laughs> One last question, Brenda. What has been in in this project so far surprising for you? Something that you you uh, you found was something that you didn't necessarily expect to find either in your interviews or in your research. I have to tell you that I have made it a habit not to have expectations. Um, even in the, the, the cultural programming I do sometimes mm -hmm. at the State Department, I don't go to any country, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, anywhere, with, with any fixed idea of what I'm, what I'm hoping to find. Um, so I, 
it, it would be false for me to say things have been surprising. However, yesterday I did interview um, a young woman, somebody who is, uh, I, she's in her um, early 40s, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and um, she happened to live quite a different life from some of the other women mm -hmm. that I had interviewed. She was actually a hippie. She took me to places um, uh, under the Charles Bridge where she slept, <laughs> and that was amazing because to think of, of in the 60s people living as hippies under the communist a regime. It was just really extraordinarily surprising. So that was surprising. Yes. Um, one last question, uh, if I may. Um, in your many years of coming to Prague in the Czech Republic, how have you seen the Czech Republic change? I've, I've seen it change. Uh, well, it's a fair question to say Czech Republic and not just Prague because I have been to several other cities in in the Czech Republic. Well. First of all, things are getting mighty expensive, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so that's the biggest change. Um, huge, I was really a bit stunned, last time when I was here, this big building called Palladium yeah, yeah, was right. being redone, mm -hmm. and of course, outside, the integrity, the historical integrity of the building has remained, but you walk inside and I mean, it's like a huge American, very, very upscale mall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, really upscale. Mm -hmm. And I know that for some of my Czech friends, uh, this is very offensive, but it attracts a lot of young people. And so I see the way uh, the young women are dressing now, which yeah. is, is, is quite American. Nobody looks at you. I don't know if people used to look at me when I first came here uh, because I have a different skin color or because my clothes is different. I noticed that their clothing is a bit different. Sure. And now people are chic sure. and modern and sharp and mm -hmm. that's uh, and it's wonderful. Um, but I miss one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This may seem odd, but I used to really absolutely admire the way Czech girls walked in the street. They had their shoulders back, and they walked as if they were soldiers <laughs> with a kind of stride. Right. And I don't see that anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. There's a little bit of a slump in the shoulders. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if people here are suffering you know, same kind of ec economic uh, vicissitudes that we're suffering in the United States. Probably not. Right. Probably not. I think right. Czech people are used to living with a kind of minimalism, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. which is very good. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and we need to learn a lot from them about, about how to live. Okay. But it's been fantastic being here. Wonderful. I hope I get back next well, year. Well, we hope so too. It's been fantastic having you. Thank you so much. Okay, all right.